Uh, you're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. <laughs> Good comeback. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the Lucasfilm classic known as The Secret of Monkey Island. Um, as a kid, I was always kind of fascinated by the fact that Lucasfilm made video games. Like, to me, like Lucasfilm, I think of like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, you know, those are the big ones. And then I didn't really learn until later that they were making video games. Like, I never played Secret of Monkey Island growing up. Uh, a friend showed me Full Throttle at his house. I'd never heard of it before, but it was actually a pretty awesome game when he did show it to me. So, I, I guess I was kind of wondering as a kid, uh, like, what Lucasfilm was doing making games and why they didn't make movies anymore. Because I think as a kid, I wanted more Star Wars movies. Um, and you know the old adage, careful what you wish for. Because then we got the prequels, and we all know about the Star Wars prequels. But, you know, then we kept wishing for more better Star Wars, and now we got the Mandalorian and stuff like that. So, you know, good things can happen if you keep uh, keep dreaming. Anyway, Secret of Monkey Island. This is a, apparently a great game. Um, I'm looking forward to checking it out. Um, I think we have tried one of the sequels. Um, so that's a thing, but honestly, I don't really remember it. So we're kind of going into this one blind once again. I guess our eyes were open when we played the sequels and we got re-blinded for this one. So let's go ahead and begin. An old man sits perched atop a mountaintop, gazing at the sea. Hi, my name's Guybrush Threepwood and I want to be a pirate. Yikes, don't sneak up on me like that. Who is this old guy? Why am I telling him I want to be a pirate? Uh, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guy Threepwood. I see. So you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. I guess I'm on Pirate Island. You'll find them in the scum bar. Fun fact, the game engine used to run all of Lucasfilm's games is called Scum. In fact, I'm playing this game right now through the modern Scum emulator called Scum VM. Yes, they made a specific emulator to emulate old LucasArts uh, adventure games. Uh, anyway, the Scum Bar. Suitable for pirates. Yar mateys, ye be scumbags. Another fun fact about this game is the creator of this game actually created this game sort of in uh, reaction to the adventure games of the time. So for those of us who grew up in the 80s playing old Sierra style adventure games and other adventure games like Zork and stuff, death lurked around every corner. Literally any action you could think of could potentially kill you. And the creator of this game wanted to create an action game where literally it was almost impossible to die. Which I think makes sense because he wanted to foster uh, exploration. He wanted you to try things. He wanted you to click on things. In a Sierra Adventure game, like picking up gum off the street, you could get run over by a car. You know, you had to be very careful. So anyway, today we're going to be exploring. So here we are uh, on the pirate dock. Um, I don't know what this is. Are these houses? What is this? Governor Marley. There's only one candidate. And there's only one choice. Well, that <laughs> sounds like a free and fair election, if you ask me. All right, let's head off uh, to the east over here, I guess. Here we got. Oh, hello, the scum bar with a nice smiley face. Let's take a look at it. See what we say. I don't see anything special about it. Okay, well, I guess, you know, the jig is up. Let's just go ahead and go inside. Ah, uh, look at the pirates. This guy's having a, <laughs> a rowdy old time. He's going to barf if he's not careful. This guy's on his way to passing out. Um, all right, let's see if we can convince these guys uh, that to let us be pirates. So we're going to kind of head back over this way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, these guys look like pirate lords if ever I've seen them. We got uh, Joey, Whitebeard, Fat Cook, who needs a longer shirt, frankly. 
and Sir Reginald the Third. Those, that's my guess at their names. Let's let's give them a little talking to. Talk to important looking pirates. What ye be wanting, boy? <laughs> to kill you all. Well, you can't die in this game, so let's give it a shot. I mean to kill you all, yar. Get lost, boy. You bother us. Oh, well. I mean, it's nice that it, they, they didn't kill us, but I feel like in a Sierra game, we would have got some awesome death animation for doing that. Um, all right. I want to be a pirate. Sign me up, please. Where's the pirate sign up card? Why bother us? We're short on help because of this whole Chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Alright, so I think because they're in a bit of a recession period, if I'm understanding this properly, the pirates' economy is in a recession, and hence they're willing to bring on more unskilled labor to fill the, the you know required positions. That's the reading of what's happening here. There are three trials. All right, we have three trials to go through. We must pass. Master the sword. The art of thievery. Oh, I like these trials. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting. You see, urchin? Ah, yes. All right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and uh, treasure hunting. And return with proof you've done it. Oh, they're not even going to watch. Alright. I'll go and come back with your proof. Grog, grog, grog. Um, alright. Uh, you're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. Let's do it. We're going to earn their respect through showing them no respect. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-smelling pig. <laughs> Good comeback. All right. Uh, I'll be running along now. All right. I think the next step from here is we need to sneak our way into the kitchen. Now, I think if we just try and do it, we're totally going to get kicked out. Hey, you can't come back here. All right, so instead, we're going to hang up by the fire for a little bit. We're going to look at the fireplace. Cozy. Eventually, that chef will leave, and off we go. Oh, don't go into the kitchen. Oh, damn it. <laughs> we got too antsy. All right. We got to wait a little longer. And eventually, he'll come out. And we can sneak our way into the kitchen. In the kitchen... We want to pick up uh, f meat, a cooking pot, and uh, then we want to head out the back door, I guess. I don't know how much time we're going to have to do this, so we'll just have to play it cool. Guy yeah, ever coming out again? Sir, hello! You have customers to serve out here, buddy. They're getting hungry. Hello? Oh, there he goes. And off he goes, and in we go. All right. So first, pick up the meat. Pick up the pot. Open the door. Pick up the red herring. I think that bird will peck my hand off. Okay, we can uh, pick up the bird then, maybe. Pick up the bird? No, nope, that doesn't work. No, apparently if we just walk over here. Hold on. Oh, I'm on pick up. Pick up mode. If we walk over here. <laughs> that knocks the bird up. And then we can pick it up. All right. We have to do this quickly. Oh, there it goes. Pick up the fish. Yes, all right. We got a bird. Get out of here. The plank's stuck. All right, mission accomplished. Good thing the chef hasn't come back yet. Look, he looks... He has a picture of the Pillsbury Doughboy. Or it could be the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man, which I would also respect. 
Um, Pato Stew, do we have to mess with this? I don't think so, but let's take a look at... Look at... The Pato Stew. It's boiling hot! Alright, well... We did our thing. You guys didn't see nothing. You know what's good for you? You keep your mouth shut, you pirate kings. Off back into this rowdy bar. This bar does look like a lot of fun, but people are literally like, these guys are just full on sleeping or dead. This guy's close to passing out. Like, it, it seems like it is fun, but people are maybe drinking, maybe Im Im imbibing a bit too much in the grog. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's a ghost. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. I feel like this is a bit of a ripoff of Pirates of the Caribbean, but this obviously came way first, so Pirates of the Caribbean totally ripped this off. Ghost pirates? They knew what they were doing. Disney did, I mean. Ah, uh, you're glad to be dead, right? Oh, yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murder me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what is it you disturbed me for? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Mealy Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young. Inexperienced. Probably nothing to worry about. But I don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Ooh, ghost pirates are after us now. I'll handle this. Personally. The plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. Uh, we have the... We've already, like, literally within five minutes earned the ire of ghost pirates. Where... This is just gonna keep getting worse and worse, I feel like. For old man, uh... Old man guy here. Or is it Guy? Guy Threepwood. Alright, we're bailing out of here. Looking at this old man here. I don't know what this guy's deal is. I guess he's the lookout. Yeah, but we're gonna leave him alone. We got bigger fish to fry, literally. Alright, so a bit of an island to explore here. There's literally... Part of the island is called Island. That's confusing. Also, another part's called House and Lights. Clearing. This part we can't get to, which confuses me, because it looks like there's something there. And here's me. Oh, this is cool. Alright, so where do we want to go? Well, let's check out Clearing. Because it's nearby. And because the walkthrough is telling me that's the next place to go. Alright, in the land of clearing, we have... Gold carts. It's a mine. It's a... No, it's a circus. <laughs> a circus in the remote part of the woods, away from everyone. Ah, yes. Oh, look at this. It's a full-on circus. I'd get that cannon, but the gunpowder. Blah, blah, blah. Why can't I do it? I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy you get in that other oh, arguing about who's gonna be fired out of the cannon. It's actually pretty funny. I, I will say the humor in this game is is pretty decent, and I think the game is known for being fairly humorous. Um, and so far there's only been like minor jokes, but I feel like sometimes we play LucasArts games and the jokes are so hammy that it's just like, I just roll my eyes, I don't even laugh. But here I feel like I'm smirking a little. And I, I think that's I think that's a good level of humor to be at for a game. Alright, uh let's see. Can I borrow a trampoline? Say there, how do you like once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat of death defying feet? Well not so death defying really, dangerous feet. Not dangerous at all, an easy feat. Oh, but exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and extremely well known, fabulous flying Fettuccini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. <laughs> there's, there's some subtle jokes here that's if you're you know, if you're paying attention, it's it's clever. Um, alright, they want me in the cannon. All you have to do is get in that cannon, and then we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. 
Quite safely, actually. So what do you say? Um, how much will you pay me? <laughs> it's all about the money, man. About 478 pieces of... Did it say pieces of eight? Um, all right, let's do it. Why not? I'm not even looking at the walkthrough for this part. We're going on instinct. Have you got a helmet? Um, I don't. Will I need one? I mean, obviously I will, but... No helmet, no problem. Um, oh no, I've got to get one. Can't do the trick without a helmet. No siree. Alright, get a helmet and then we can do the trick. Guys, there's literally no audience, so... Um, yeah? Alright, reevaluating my inventory. I think I have something that could count as a helmet. It's the pot. So, let's, uh... Let's try this again. Can I borrow a trampoline? That line worked before. Ready to do the cannon trick? You got a helmet? I like how they're so concerned about the helmet part. They're gonna fire me out of this cannon. No training, but you know, they're like, well, but you, know, you gotta have a helmet. That's just basic, basic science. I wouldn't want to hurt. No siree. All right, all right, here you go, guys. Um, we have give pot to the brothers. That will work as a helmet. I don't think it's actually going to cushion anything. I don't know if that pot... I don't know, would it? I know, like, bike helmets are all foamy and stuff on the inside to try and be lightweight but also protective. Would... Here's a, here's a question for anyone... For all the, the medical doctors watching my stream, um, would a, would a pot, oh, did they just, I didn't even notice they fired me so fast. <laughs> oh man, okay, I, I think I have brain damage there. But, uh, yeah, would a helmet actually do anything? Oh, the text is upside down, that's funny. Um, where's my helmet? I'm bobbing. Are you my mother? Let's see. He's all right! So I guess they just wanted to fire it as a test thing. That's why, because I was like, there's no audience. Why are you firing people out of a cannon? But these guys are just doing it for funsies. Um, all right, yeah, you definitely need to change the aim a bit, guys. Um, now they're arguing about who gets to do it next. Guys, can I get paid and get the hell out of here? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a low-grade concussion. Um, uh, alright, we have 400, 478 pieces of eight. What, what is that? I don't understand. The currency in this island doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright, well. Anyway, circus complete. Um, we traded a pot for 400, I'm going to call it bucks, 478 bucks. So now, really want to know what these lights are, but I think we got to go back to the town first. So we're going to do that. But now we have money. And money makes all the difference. You know when you're walking down the street and you got no money in your pocket? You just feel sort of sheepish. You can't afford anything. You try not to look at the, the windows of any stores. You don't want to like get any ideas. But when you got money, especially when you got money to burn, you're walking down the street. You're 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 buying everything you see, buying a hot dog, throwing it in the gutter because you didn't even want it. Looking around confidently. We got four hundred seventy-eight bucks, man. We're just gonna go through this town, do whatever we want. What's up, citizen of M Melee? See what's going on with this guy. Tell me something, buddy. Excuse me, do you have a cousin named Sven? Uh, is that some sort of street lingo? What, what's up, man? Of course it's a code, you idiot. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that is great. <laughs> I Honestly, the humor in this game, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. <laughs> do you have a cousin named Sven? Is that some sort of code? Of course it's code, you idiot. Get out of here. Oh, man. All right. Off we go. What the? We just ended up exactly right back where we came from. Okay, that must be not be the right door. Uh, The right-hand side of the lane that leads up to the clock. 
Okay, let's try this door over here. Open? What the? <laughs> That's kind of fun. Kind of fun that these doors all zigzag all over the place. Hello? Oh, this one actually does go somewhere. All right. We're in uh, a death shop. This looks like the shop of the occult that Ray stands from Ghostbusters ran in Ghostbusters 2 after the Ghostbusters themselves sort of dispersed and before they reunited. Uh, my name is Gabrush Threepwood. Oh, this is this is my options. I was about to read this whole thing. Uh, neat place you got here. Guess I'll be on my way. Read my palms. Am I going to be rich? My mind reading skills tell me it's your future. I don't know why she's Jamaican, but it just feels right. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? And my Jamaican accent, I also apologize. It's horrible. Um, tell me everything. I want no surprises in life. I'm getting the vision. I guess my, my Jamaican is also my same accent I use for Italian, so figure that one out. I see you, Captain, in the ship. I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross. Wait. It's, a, it's all becoming clearer. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. <laughs> I'm sorry, my accent's changing as I talk. Maybe I'll just read this in a normal voice. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. Okay. I will let you know then. Okay. Yikes. Oh, she disappeared. She's gone. I don't know how I'm supposed to find her to let her know again. All right. Apparently, we're supposed to pick up one of these chickens. No one will miss just this one thing. So now that she's gone, we will have robbed her. All right. See you later, voodoo lady. Thank you. There's also dudes just hanging out over here, I noticed, too. I like the colorful cast of characters we got going on here. Venturing further into town, we have uh, places, buildings, things, different destinations. Oh, somebody's whispering to me. Wait, what? Did that guy just rob me? Psst. I like how there's like activity here. There's like townsfolks coming and going out of uh, buildings. I feel like in a lot of adventure games and stuff, the, the environments are very static and you don't see too many people. Okay, somebody's whispering to me, and I've, it feels creepy, so I'm going to ignore him for right now. Oh, hey there, Fancy Pants. Who you calling Fancy Pants? Gramps. You can beat him up, uh, No Country for Old Men style. All right, so apparently, um, there is a sword that we can take. Go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and take that shovel, too, because... You never not find a use for a shovel, I say. Boom. And we should pay for this. I'm gonna pay. Uh, talk to storekeeper. What do you want? About the sword. What about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. All right. Um, about this shovel. What about it? I want it. I don't even care the cost, man. I have so much money. 75 pieces of eight. All right. Save some treasure for the rest of us. Ha ha ha. What else do you want? Nothing. Who can I test this sword out on? That's a good question. Well, if you're looking for a good fight, we've got the best sword fighter in all the Caribbean right here on Mealy Island, trademark. <laughs> of course, no one knows where his secret hideout, or her secret hideout is, except me. 
I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Oh, interesting. I wonder if we could have stolen the shovel. Um... Let's see, I guess I'm just sort of stuck here for a little while. Maybe we can just leave. Open. Oh, did he go down this way? Oh, there he goes. I'm just gonna follow him, how about this? <laughs> forget about, uh... Forget about him asking, I'm just straight up gonna follow him, man. I think he went out this way, I hope. Oh, there he goes. Don't mind me, old man. Just disobeying your explicit orders. Where'd this guy go? Oh, there he goes. Alright, follow, 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 follow. Okay, I'm guessing he left here. Oh, there he goes. Oh, so he went right around here. And he went right into here. And then he went right into here. Oh, man, this is like a maze. Kind of cool, actually. It's neat to see such complex environments. One thing I always appreciated about adventure games is they really did feel sort of like holodeck novels. I mean, you know, a holodeck novels like a choose your own adventure kind of thing, but, um, you know, you play video games like Mario and stuff, and those are great games, but sort of like they're very limited in their environments and stuff like that. Um, why did he push this? I'm just going to try following him. Okay, that worked. Oh, and here we are at a secret place. But hey, play games like Mario and stuff, and like they're they're just very limited, and that's like you can run and jump, and and every level kind of looks the same, like they're using the same tile sets and stuff. But in adventure games, it's like every environment is unique and handcrafted and different, and and just you know, it, it just opens up the imagination of like where could we go next? We could li go literally anywhere. In Mario, it's like, well, what's the next level going to look like? It's like, well, mostly this, but it'll have slightly different colored backgrounds you know like it'll be sim pretty similar in adventure games anything is possible and i always kind of dug that but anyway somebody might follow you uh hey it's your loss baby yeah right now scram okay i think we can go talk to the this uh lady though and she might train us i don't know i'm kind of going a bit off script here i mean i've generally been following this walkthrough i've got here but i'm not reading every moment of it. How dare you approach the sword master without permission, which I surely didn't give you. I beg your pardon, I must talk to you. My name's Guy Threepwood, I've come to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> that is the response. Uh, nothing like being honest. What was your final grade in Captain Smirk's sword fighting class? Uh, grade? Class? I mean, you came to talk to the Swordmaster of Mealy Island, trademark, possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean, without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. What did you expect to defend yourself? Uh, gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously not with your razor sharp wit. I advise you to seek out Captain Smirks, get some real training. It would be hardly ethical, uh, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. Huh. That was fun. All right, well, thanks. We'll, uh, you know, go get trained or whatever, and then we'll come, we'll come back to kill you. How about that? See you later. Now, it... In my walkthrough, it does say that we actually did miss something. Um, oh, that extra dot was the sword master. Okay, I was real. I was wondering about that. Um, but we need some yellow flowers that are right here. Nice. 
I feel like this is a very forgiving game. Um, we have our yellow flowers now. Cool. Like, again, I grew up on the hard stuff. You know, I grew up on, like, Leisure Suit Larry, Space Quest, King's Quest. Games that I love. I love Leisure Suit Larry. I love Space Quest. I love uh, King's Quest. I've played both Space Quest games on this channel. Um, stopping a pirate can be dangerous for your health. Um, oh, we're getting harassed. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Sorry to bother you, I'll be on my way. I didn't even mean to stop you, sir. Also, you need shoes, dude. Uh, anyway. Interesting how they have just, uh, random pirates walking around and stuff, too. Uh, very cool. But yeah, I grew up on the hard stuff, like the Sierra Adventure games, and I love them. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but I feel like this is, like, has more modern design sensibilities where like you literally don't die around every corner. There's lots to explore. Like in the Sierra adventure game, I remember spending hours and days just trying to make a little progress. I mean, admittedly I'm using a walkthrough here, but maybe it's giving me the false impression. This is easier than it is, but it does feel like there's a lot more to explore right off the bat. And it'd be easier to figure out. I think this than the Sierra game, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, um, but I've instinctively returned to the village here. And it turns out that if we do actually want to start with the sword fighting trial, which we do, we need to go somewhere else. So let's go back to the map here. And we want to go to house. We're going to pass Bloodthirsty Pirate, who's just sort of wandering around this stretch of island. Oh my god, it's a troll. None shall pass. All right, troll, stop. You must pay a toll. You gotta pay the troll toll if you want to get in this boy's soul. Behind you, a mouse. Look behind you, a mouse. I'm not falling for that. Oh, that's a good try. Got along, you scurvy sea slug. Um. Okay, how much is this toll? Let us first find that out. Uh... I stand aside, troll. I, I'm, oh, I thought I said I might be a pirate. I'm a mighty pirate. How much is the toll? Enough games. Well, what have you got? Um, some rancid meat, a rubber chicken. Don't mess with me, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. 30 pieces. 303. Uh, nothing of consequence. I want something that will attract attention and have no, but have no real importance. <laughs> Instruction paper, jockey shorts, a monkey leash with three collars. Um, I have an idea. Surprise, surprise. Given to me by the walkthrough, but you have three chances to give me what I want. Then I eat ya. That's oh, like Monty Python. Okay, I'm going to give the fish to the troll. Here you go. A red herring. Pass. Thank you, sir. What the heck? It's a dude. It was a dude the whole time. He was just hungry for a fish. I know your secret now, troll. All right. I wonder if he's going to let me pass continuously now. But anyway, uh, off to the house. To begin our training as a Jedi. What does this sign say? Look at. Look at sign. Captain Smirk's big body pirate gym. All right, man. I'm picturing Terry Crews waiting in here to train us. Cannonball firing is 160 pieces 08. Grapple hook. Look at all those different, uh, different types of trainings you can get. Uh, hello? Can we just open the door? Open the door. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. Another thing I like about the LucasArts adventure games is that you have this point and click interface and you just click on the actions you want to do. In Sierra, you're always trying to like type out things and you never knew what you could or couldn't do in a Sierra adventure. You just had to type stuff out and see if the interpreter even knew what you were talking about. Um... Could you train me to be better than the sword master? You know where the sword master lives. Can we step inside? I'm a little chilly out here. 
Could you please put out that cigar? I think I'll ask to be trained. All things considered. Whoa, look at this guy. Better than the Swordmaster, you? Ha ha ha. You could never be half the sword fighter Carla is. Even with hours of hard work and sweating and blood. Remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port, Port Royal. Local constabula constabulary. Oh, I couldn't even read that. Looked like we were done for. But then she said, but I digress. You just don't have what it takes. Um, I do so have what it takes. All right. Let's just see if we can convince him, I guess. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. All right. We convinced him. Bill Castia, what have you got? Uh, I figured you'd do it for free. All right, here's 30 pieces. That's your fee, right? Say no more. Say no more. Let's see your sword. Uh, okay, check it out. What do you think of this bad boy? Captain? He's bringing me in. Oh, look at his little training area he's got in here. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Yeah. Boy. You fight like a dairy farmer. <laughs> you usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. Uh, but seeing as the Chuck thing has put a cramp on business, I've got no choice. I need the money. Yes. I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. Only because I feel that's special. Student mentor, pieces of eight bonding. <laughs> I'm going to go to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine. Ooh, what is the machine? Tell me more, Captain. The machine? Is this going to hurt? I have a feeling it's... Oh my god. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. It's a monkey-powered fighting machine. Watch your footwork. No, beat first, then lunge. Advance, thrust, recover, parry. Repost. Use your force against the foible. Hours later. He's starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm going to let you in on the true secret of fighting. What is it? Sword fighting is kind of like making love. <laughs> Not always what you do, but what you say. Uh-huh. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something, but the pros, they know just to cut their opponent with an insult. That one that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. And just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. Then suddenly there's a break in the fight and I say to you, you fight like a dairy farmer. You respond with, oh yeah? So is your mother. I'm rubber, you are glue. You must be thinking of someone else. I'm not a farmer. I don't know how witty that is, but. I can see we've got a lot of work to do. I like the pause there, even in the dialogue. That's great. Respond with something like, How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You see? It's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Oh, interesting. Let's try another. Does this mean that sword fighting in this game is going to be jabbing insults? Because if so, I'm totally down. That's great. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say... Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with, Oh yeah? So is your mother. I'm rubber, you're glue. <laughs> How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. That was the response to the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. 
side. This is actually funny. A correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab <laughs> would have been something like First, you'd better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I I feel like that was, for the comedy alone, worth 30 ducats or whatever the hell my currency is. 30 sea bills. 30 schmeckles. <laughs> Alright, so I guess at this point, we're now supposed to just look for random dudes to fight, like Dirty Rotten Pirate, Dirty Rotten Pirate, Bloodthirsty Pirate, so we just go fight with these random dudes, I guess? Oh, here's Bloodthirsty. This guy insulted us before. What do you want, you scurvy luber? Nice night we're having. My name is Guy Threepwood, prepare to die. Inigo Montoya sent me. There's lots of good references in this, too, actually. Um, oh, I like how the... This is so clever. It's like it really does make you feel like you are this, like, naive kid desperately trying to learn insults. It feels like you're, like, Lieutenant Commander Data and you don't understand humor because you have the literal insults that you were trained before and you're just repeating them like you don't understand it. I love this. This is so awesome. Boy, you're ugly. What an idiot. So let's have this. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. And let's see what he says to it. Maybe he'll teach us the good response. Oh, yeah? Okay, he didn't have a good response to that one. Uh, you fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, yeah? Okay, he still has no good response. Um, boy, you are ugly. What an amateur insult. Oh, no. Oh, interesting. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Interesting. Okay, so he insulted me. Now I got to come back at him. So, I, again, I love how we have the, the basic replies. Um, I forget the insult he said. Can you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. Um, how about I give up, you win. Um, how about... I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Is that a good re reply? I don't know. Oh, it's interesting. You can tell if your reply is good or not because it's like you move back to left or right. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Um... We don't have any good replies yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I give up. You win. You win. Oh, interesting. So, I've never played an, uh, an adventure game. We have to grind out some experience. I like this. I want to fight one of these guys. Wait, I keep going into the fork by accident. Bloodthirsty pirate. No, wait. Here, ugly pirate. Oh god, the stupid fork. Wait, that's guy br brush. Okay, here we go. It took a while to actually find a pirate here. Um, prepare to die, sir. I am here to train. I like how you also do have to actually train to become a good sword fighter. This is amazing. Uh, let's see. Oh, and we got their insults. Whoa. I'm learning. <laughs> this is so satisfying for some reason. I'm learning good insults. Uh, boy, you are ugly. Start off with a good one. Uh oh, that was an amateur insult. No. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Um,. Crap, I don't have a good reply to that. Oh, I'm just gonna lose. Uh, could you repeat that? I didn't quite get it. Will he actually repeat it? I said, this is the end for you, you got to crawling. Oh, so you can have him repeat it if you forget. Okay, it's good to know. I'm rubber and you are glue. Neener, neener, neener. I just lost. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. 
Um, I have no response to that. So I guess what happened, so here's, here's my take on what's happening right now. We get in these fights, we hear their insults. Then we're going to have to use those insults on other pirates and hear their responses so that we hear what good responses are. And then we will have picked up good insults and good replies. That is so cool and clever. That is so cool and clever. Okay. I want to fight one of these guys. So here we go. I cut my way through. Sir, I would like to fight you if you would. Cha ching This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. That was a good one that I heard. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Oh, that was a good reply. It was a cutting reply. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little I'm just gonna throw it right back in his face. Oh yeah, you got pwned, buddy. This is so cool because it's not only like a very neat way to pick up moves. We have moves in an adventure game. Who knew? You have moves and counter moves, but it also makes you learn them along the way. So it really feels like you're earning them. Like this is just such a cool way of gaining experience. Um, all right. Uh, I'm going not going to take your insulin. We got to find out responses to a lot of these because we don't know what the reply replies are. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? That was a good reply. You're going to be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Ah, but you better stop waving it like a feather duster first. He's like, ooh, good one. Good one. And so the, the, the duel continues. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. What's the response to that one? So you got that job as a janitor after all. Oh, cool. Behind you, a three-headed monkey. <laughs> so fun. It's not only cool, but it's also fun. All right, Dirty Rotten Pirate, you want to go again, buddy? All right. Out of the way, or I cuts my way through. Prepare to die. Let's do this. This is such a great minigame. Um, okay, so we know the response to this one. So you'll be wearing my sword. We know the response to this one. We know the response to this one. We know the response to this one. Uh, we know the response to this one. Uh, there are no words for how disgusting you are. Let's try this one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. <laughs> These are like, some of them are like sharp replies. It's pretty funny. You're going to be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, really? Well, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Yeah! Never seen wit like this before, have you? Um, you fight like a dairy farmer. Okay, we've seen this. These ones are basic. This is a dairy farmer one. I'm rubber and you are glue. Oh, he doesn't know the answer. We might actually win a duel here. Uh... My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, he doesn't know these answers. Oh my god, we won a duel. <laughs> wow. Wow. I've never seen a mechanic like this in an adventure game. I'm it's 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 enjoyable, it's funny, it's interesting, it's satisfying. I'm so glad we got to experience this today. I want to duel more pirates, but I, I think we've seen all their insults. So let's start with uh, this one here. The end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm rubber and you're glue. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we're kind of at the end of the insults that we can detect from these guys. It's such a cool system for gaining experience to literally like have to go through, see what they will say in response to insults and what their insults are and then start using them against them. It's it's so cool. Uh, I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, well, I don't have a response to that. So, uh, 
You fight like a cow, man. Sucker. Okay, so we did just learn a new insult. I heard you're a contemptible sneak. Oh man, I don't know the answers to these. It's too bad that there aren't like options to try and guess the answer. I mean, I guess it would be too obvious then, but... Uh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? My responses don't make any sense. Uncle, uncle! Okay, so we just learned two different insults that we want to figure out the responses to. A stinking pirate. This better be important. Yeah. It's as important as me killing you, man. Uh, okay, what were the new ones? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. What does that even mean? I hope you've learned to stop picking your nose. Oh, that's a good response. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, we're getting new ones. I don't know what the answer to that is. He's going to beat me right now. Almost. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. You jerk. I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. He beat me. He won not through skill, but through confidence. He insulted me until I just didn't feel like I could beat him anymore. Okay, but we got like four new insults to learn. Um, let's do this. Let's go at it, bro. Come at me, bro. Um, okay, we know this one, know this one. You fight like a dairy farmer. I know the answer to the scar one now. Stop picking your nose. The contemptible sneak one we don't know yet. And the apes one. I've heard you are a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Oh, nice. I once had a dog that was smarter than you. Damn it, we don't know the answer to that one. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Makes no sense at all. Don't be me yet. I'm not going to take your insulin sitting down. We can we can make a comeback here. It's the hemorrhoids one. Um, your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? Oh, that's cutting, man. Okay, now we want the apes one. We want to know what the answer to that is. I'm glad to hear you attended a family reunion. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got... I feel like we got a good number of insults. I wonder if this is enough. Oh, wait. We got another guy. Wants to fight us. All right, let's do one more duel. And if we totally crush it and we don't see any new insults, then I think we're going to go try and fight the master lady. Um, I want some dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You better shake, buddy. You know what would be cool is... So it, I get that, like, when you're first learning stuff, um, you just sort of, like, imitate. So it's like, this is actually a really good allegory for, like, how people learn. It would be cool if when we go to fight the Master Lady, we see insults that we've never seen before. And then we had to sort of look at some options and find the most cutting response. Like if you extrapolate and you actually gain the skill. So rather than just remembering insult response, it'd be cool if after this training phase in the later sword fights, you saw novel insults you'd never seen before and you had to uh, just sort of yourself extrapolate what the best response would be. That would be really cool, actually. Uh, that'd be a really fun sword fighting mechanic. I don't know if this will do that or not. Um. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Oh, we're going back and forth a bit with this guy. The dance continues. You make me want to puke. Oh, we don't know that one. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Damn. All right, the puke one's new. So we should do at least one more duel, I guess. Come on, buddy. You don't want to fight me, or... Here's a guy. Ugly pirate. Oh, this is the first guy we ever encountered. We're going to insult him to death. Insult him until he dies. 
You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. <laughs> you were the manners of a beggar. Oh man, there's there's more levels of insults. Okay, I don't know these answers. See, my only complaint is when you don't know an answer, there's just literally nothing you can do. You can't even guess, you know? Um, this is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a tip for you. Get the point. Now we can ask him. Basically, we can pose the insult to back to him and find out. It was the beggar one I think we got. Um... Oh, can we not do it? Did I miss it? There are apes more polite than you. No word for how disgusting you are. A sneak. Oh, I guess we can't. I guess because it's already been used in this fight. So, uh, the apes one, I guess. I've spoken to apes more polite than you. Glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Oh, you beat me. Uncle, uncle. All right, we got to do one more fight. All right. This guy always teaches me new insults. I wonder if this will be uh, the same. Let us duel, sir. In case you haven't figured it out, I'm just training. I don't actually bear you any ill will. You make me want to puke. I know the answer to that one. Uh, which is the one we're trying to learn here? Um, oh, the manners of a beggar. I think that's the new one. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. He didn't tell us the answer to it. I don't know what the answer to that one is. Okay. I'm rubber and you are glue. All right, this guy's just straight up losing to us. And there are no words for how disgusting you are. I'm shaking. Down he goes. I give up. You win. Okay, one more guy. Do you want to fight us? Here we go. All right, we want the beggar one. Um, it's down here somewhere. You have the manner. You sir have the manners of a beggar. I want to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. There we go. You emit a foul and displeasing odor. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. The hemorrhoids one. Um, hemorrhoids flaring up again, eh? Ding, 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 ding. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm rubber and you were glue. Dink, 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 dink. All right, we got him. You can just really pick any insult you want. So I guess that's my only other complaint is that, you know, again, I, I think this is totally fascinating and interesting and stuff. Oh my God, diapers. There's even more insults. Um, it almost doesn't matter what insult you pick to, for offense. They're all sort of equivalent. You just roll the dice to see if they know them. Um, so that could be a little more complex. I don't know. It's a very interesting system. I like the idea of turning conversation into combat. Um, there was another game that did that relatively recently. Um, it was sort of like a card, card combat adventure game, sort of like Slay the Spire, only you had like a combat deck and a conversation deck and you could like have negotiations and stuff and you'd have to use like conversation starters and like redirects and questions and stuff. So it's sort of like combat through conversation. I really love that idea and I feel like it hasn't been explored nearly as much as it could have uh, in, in games. So it's sort of like an area that I'm sure more and more games will do stuff with uh, in the future. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I'm sure. Oh, crap. He doesn't know the answer. Okay. I feel like we know so many insults, though. Maybe we just take our chances. Um, I mean, truthfully, at this point, I think, you know, we're not going to complete all the three trials. I thought we might. I didn't know how long this opening island would be. But I think we're, what we're going to do, where we're going to end today, is we're going to go do some dueling with the sword master um, and then kind of wrap our thoughts up at that point. I think that guy even just said, I'm good enough to fight the Swordmaster. 
But maybe I should just go do it. Let's do it, Swordmaster. I'm back. I have 273 pieces of eight, a hunk of meat, a chicken, a sword, a shovel, and a yellow flower just for you. And I'm here to kill you. So let's tango, baby. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. <laughs> My name is Guy Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Pretty funny. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face. You've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Uh, let's get this over with. All right. Let's just do... I have a... Every word you say to me is stupid. Oh, I don't know that one. I've got a feeling that uh, eventually her and I are going to become allies. Um... Maybe some of... It'd be cool some of these could actually reply and, like, counter some of hers. Like this one, maybe. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Oh, did that actually work? Only once have I met such a coward. Uh, you make me think somebody already did. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. I hope you stop picking your nose. Too bad never, no one's heard of you. Um, hmm. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. I'm glad to hear you tended. Okay. So, I don't know what a good response to that one would be. Um... I hope you learn to stop picking your nose. How about too bad never, nobody's ever heard of you? I guess. Too bad nobody's ever heard of you at all. I don't think that one worked. Okay. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Um, how appropriate you fight like a cow. That could work. This is actually, okay, I take it back. The sword fighting just went on a whole new level of interesting to me. You actually have to think. I guess I, th you know what, I could be looking at the walkthrough for this part, but this, this part is like, I actually want to figure this out. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Oh, it actually worked. My, my sharp insults. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Aren't there? First, you better stop waving like a feather just know. I've got a tip for you. No. no. Uh, fight like a cow. Hope you learn to stop picking your nose. Want to make sure. Oh, this is a perfect reply. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. She's giving me insults I can reply to with the replies of other insults. Now I know what a filth and stupidity really are. Um, oh, we're just going to turn that back on her. We're just going to turn that back on her. Um, uh, let's see. <laughs> this is great. Um, oh, crap. There's probably a reply that we could be like, yes, you looked in a mirror or something. So this one wouldn't work for that. Uh, you make me think somebody already did. No, it doesn't quite work. Um... Maybe the picking your nose one would work. Because she's like, now I know what stupidity is. And you're like, yes, and I hope you've also stopped picking your nose, implying it's she who's stupid. Um, I think that's what we're going to try. Okay, we're going to try the picking your nose. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I don't think it really fits. Nope, nope, it wasn't good enough. Okay, my wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Oh, that the puke one would be really good for that. Um, let's see. Bet nobody's ever heard of you. I want to make sure they feel comfortable. How about the hemorrhoids one, maybe? I don't know. I don't think that's a good reply either. Nope. Oh no, we're losing ground. We got two good ones in a row. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you. How about, I got a tip for you. Get the point. 
Um, I don't know if any of these work. I want to make sure you feel comfortable. Hemorrhoids. I, I need more insult replies. Um, okay, I'll try to get the point one. I don't think it's going to work. No! She's going to beat me! I've got a long, sharp lesson for you to learn today. Um... Crap, I've run out of good replies. Oh, that one was so good. The... The yes there are, you just never learn them. Long, sharp lesson. I got nothing for that. Absolutely no good reply. First, better stop waving it like a feather, Dasta. That's a terrible answer. Uncle, uncle! Hope this teaches you a lesson. Damn it! Now scram. Oh, uh, we got so close. Wait, did she disappear? Oh my god, we lost! All right, well, I uh, just looked it up, and the reason that we didn't have all the replies is we didn't learn all of the insults. It looks like there's about five or six that we didn't learn. So, in order to progress in this game, we would have to grind it out a little further, but I think for today, this is where we're going to call it for The Secret of Monkey Island. I know we're just barely scratching the surface, but par for the course of this 1001 quest, it's really just checking in for each of these 1001 uh, games. This does, however, seem like the kind of game that I think I would come back and do a longer playthrough sometime. So if you would like to see that, definitely let me know. Um, I think this game, even just playing it for an hour or so, I completely see why this is regarded as such a good adventure game. I think the creative, first of all, the humor, you know, again, sometimes I roll my eyes at the humor in Lucas uh, film or Lucas Arts games. Because it feels a little forced or a little hammy. And that's not to say it's a bad thing. You know, people can still enjoy it. But, um, you know, I just, I kind of roll my eyes more than I laugh. Honestly, in this game here today, I laughed. I had a few laughs. And they were real. They were legit. I, I think this is a funny game. Um, I like the Stan's previously owned vessels. This is so cool. Grog and a Coke thing. I like this world. I would like to spend more time here. I, I think I, I, you know, one day will come back as is and, and play through this game. This seems very fun. The sword fighting mechanic, I have to say, is next level for me. It's like, it's so simple when you think about it. Any text-based game could have implemented this decades ago. Yet, nonetheless, this one did. And again, I've never seen something like this in a game before. I love it. It's amazing. It's great. So, yeah, I think for that reason alone, I'm impressed. But, I mean, also, you know, the humor, the atmosphere, uh, the game. This this strikes me as a great adventure game. So, even though, again, I haven't finished it, haven't even gotten that far in it, I think from what I've played, I really enjoyed it. So, that's my take on The Secret of Monkey Island. I think it's a game you should play. What do you guys think? Is this a game that you played back in the day? Do you have tips or tricks? Um, was there something I could have been doing more effectively today? And uh, would you would you like to see me play this one through start to finish at some point? Whatever the case may be, sound off in the comments down below. And guys, I hope today's video brought you nostalgia. I hope it took you back to uh, playing some Mon Secret of Monkey Island at a friend's house after school when you were growing up. If it did, slap that like button, subscribe, all the other junk and crap YouTube wants you to do. And uh, otherwise, what you can do for me is just tune back in in a couple days and watch my next video. So until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. And uh, we will see you soon. This is Gaming J with a witty insult calling you all scurvy dogs. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace. It would be hardly ethical, uh, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. Huh. That was fun.